Hi there. In this video, I want to show how we can apply a background image to the header in Genesis. Uh, as you can see here, the theme that I currently have active in this WordPress site is Daily Dish Pro. But the process and the method that uh, I'm going to show uh, should work with any Genesis child theme, not just Daily Dish Pro. Okay, so if we take a look at uh, functions.php in the child theme, we can see that uh, it has declared theme support for custom header and the header selector is set to site title and inside that the anchor tag and the width and height have been specified or set as 480. So if we um, go to appearance and header, uh, we can see that an image that we upload here will essentially appear in the uh, header area. So in this case, I just want to apply a background image to the entire header, like an image, the entire header. So we got to change the uh, header selector from uh, site title A to site header. Uh, how do I get that? If I start inspecting this header, we can see that uh, the entire header has a class of site header. So first I'm gonna uh, duplicate this and comment out the uh, default code and then change the header selector to site header and I want the header text to be visible because the header text is what uh, the user the header text is what the user is going to click to go to the site's home page. So I'm going to change the false to true and I would need to change the height and the width. So again if I bring up Firebug and I go to layout so you can see that 1080 is the width of the site header. So I'm going to enter 1080 here for the width and for the height we can see it has a padding of 80 pixels at the top and bottom so we got to add 80 at the top 80 at the bottom and the actual height which is 82 so the total of 80 plus 82 plus 80 would be uh, 242 pixels so i'm gonna set the height to 242 pixels and save it so now when i go to appearance and header we can see that uh, it shows the dimensions that we have specified in the child themes functions PHP. So now I can upload an image here and that image should appear as a background for the site entire site header. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna see if I already have any. Okay, it's not. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, let me pick something that image so since the uh, width of this particular image that I have uploaded is more than what we have set in functions PHP uh, it is going to present us with the option to crop the image so I'm just gonna um, accept this and hit crop and publish I'm going to hit save changes so when I go to the front end and reload the page uh, we got the background image appearing and I guess we have the text as well because when I hover I can see that that's a hyperlink so we just need to set the color of that uh, header text to white or anything else that you desire so in this case I'm gonna change it to okay first I'm gonna click on show header text with your image and then click on select color and then select white 
and click save changes so come back here and reload okay now we got that working so I'm, I would like to have some gap at the top of the header just like how there is this gap at the left and right so if I inspect the site container I can see that the padding at the left and right is 60 pixels so I would like to add the same padding here uh, at the top so I'm gonna copy that CSS selector and open style.css uh, either you could uh, locate this particular uh, CSS selector in the existing style blocks and make changes or you can add it at the end of the style.css file and make changes All right, so now the header looks more uniform and clicking on this for example let's say I go to one of the inner pages and then I can click on the site title to go back to the home page okay so now what if you do not want to show the tagline uh, for that we can add a code snippet So we could as, add this uh, code snippet to basically get rid of the site uh, description which is the tagline. Alright, so let's say that I want to show um, different background images, background header images on different pages and posts. So I'm going to go inside this hello world post and edit this post. and. Okay, so before we do that, we have to install a plugin called Custom Header Extended. I guess it is. Yeah. So it's a plugin by Justin Tadlock. So go ahead and uh, install it and then activate it. So once you do that, you go to a post or a page. In this case, I'm editing the post and you can set a custom header image just for this particular entry okay so I have uploaded a custom header image update come back and go to that single post and now you can see that um, this particular page or post rather has this header background image whereas if you go to the home page uh, it's gonna use the image that is set at appearance and header as the default background image for the header okay so at this point of time you have the basic functionality working uh, the only thing that we need to do now is to ensure that the responsive uh, look is set so I just pressed command alt m in Firefox uh, to bring up the mobile responsive view tool which is built in so if I say I start somewhere there and keep reducing the width of the window so here it's all right okay 11 1200 so it looks like at 1199 there's a breakpoint and at this width we need to reduce the uh, space at the top to match the space at the left and the right so I'm gonna go inside style.css and at 1199 I'm gonna copy that CSS
change it to 40 to match the padding at the left and the right. Okay, that didn't work. Let's see. Okay, so padding at the alloy. So what's happening is that the CSS that we have added at the end is overriding that. So let's cut that and put it above the media queries. Right here. Okay. So now that's fine. So keep reducing the width. Keep reducing the width. That's good. It's all right. Okay, so at 1024. So this is the iPad landscape. Looks fine. 768. This is the iPad portrait. Looks all right. And then at 568, this would be the newer iPhones 5, 5S, 6, etc. Uh, in portrait, uh, sorry, landscape and uh, 480. So this would be the old iPad, uh, iPhone that would be 4, 4S in landscape. So this should be iPhones 4 and 5 in portrait. Okay, so one thing is if you observe uh, the images, the background images kind of getting cut so you can no longer no longer see the glass when you reduce the width of the window so if you would like to change this behavior we can essentially use background size contain and so let's try background size container and background position center and reload okay that did not do anything probably because it's being overridden by more specific CSS so Let's try adding important. Okay, let's even make it more specific by putting the body at the beginning. All right, so that worked. So with the CSS that we have just added, uh, background size contain and background position as center, the background image is gonna always size according to the available width of the header of course this means that there's going to be extra height at the top and the bottom and then you have to again inspect with firebug and come up with the required css if uh, this is what you need but if you do not uh, really want or care about the uh, background header image sizing itself to the available width you can just comment it out and it's going to be like this. Okay, hope you found this helpful. Thank you. Bye.